Begitu virus masuk ke dalam tubuh manusia, siklus replikasi atau peniruan HIV dimulai. Virus ini mula-mula menanamkan diri pada permukaan sel darah putih. Langkah berikutnya, tutup dari virus melebur dengan membran sel. RNA virus kemudian merekam informasi genetis manusia. Dan bahan dasar genetis virus ini dapat digabungkan dengan bahan dasar genetis manusia. Dengan cara inilah, virus dapat menggunakan sel-sel yang terinfeksi untuk memproduksi komponennya sendiri. Selama benang protein terbentuk, HIV memisahkan diri dari benangnya dan memotong diri untuk membentuk enzim dan penutup protein. Setelah komponen virus ini terbentuk menjadi partikel baru, kemudian memisahkan diri dari membran sel. Setelah mengalami proses kematangan, virus melepaskan diri dari sel. Lengkaplah peniruan HIV. Jika virus ini berkembang dengan sangat cepat, maka terjadilah AIDS. Virus baru yang sudah matang mampu menginfeksi sel yang lain. Dan sel yang terinfeksi kemudian mati. Dari hasil peniruan ini, memungkinkan munculnya varian-varian baru yang menyulitkan sistem kekebalan tubuh untuk mengontrolnya. Targeting HIV replication. The replication of HIV-1 is a multi-stage process. Each step is crucial to successful replication and is therefore a potential target of antiretroviral drugs. Step 1 is the infection of a suitable host cell, such as a CD4 positive T lymphocyte. Entry of HIV into the cell requires the presence of certain receptors on the cell surface. CD4 receptors and co-receptors such as CCR5 or CXCR4. These receptors interact with protein complexes which are embedded in the viral envelope. These complexes are composed of two glycoproteins, an extracellular GP120 and a transmembrane GP41. When HIV approaches a target cell, GP120 binds to the CD4 receptors. This process is termed attachment. It promotes further binding to a co-receptor. Co-receptor binding results in a conformational change in GP120. This allows GP41 to unfold and insert its hydrophobic terminus into the cell membrane. GP41 then folds back on itself. This draws the virus towards the cell and facilitates the fusion of their membranes. The viral nucleocapsid enters the host cell and breaks open, releasing two viral RNA strands and three essential replication enzymes. Integrase, protease, and reverse transcriptase. Reverse transcriptase begins the reverse transcription of viral RNA. It has two catalytic domains, the ribonuclease H active site and the polymerase active site. Here, single-stranded viral RNA is transcribed into an RNA-DNA double helix. Ribonuclease H breaks down the RNA. The polymerase then completes the remaining DNA strand to form a DNA double helix. Now, integrase goes into action. 
It cleaves a dinucleotide from each three prime end of the DNA, creating two sticky ends. Integrase then transfers the DNA into the cell nucleus and facilitates its integration into the host cell genome. The host cell genome now contains the genetic information of HIV. Activation of the cell induces transcription of proviral DNA into messenger RNA. The viral messenger RNA migrates into the cytoplasm where building blocks for a new virus are synthesized. Some of them have to be processed by the viral protease. Protease cleaves longer proteins into smaller core proteins. This step is crucial to create an infectious virus. Two viral RNA strands and the replication enzymes then come together and core proteins assemble around them, forming the capsid. This immature viral particle leaves the cell, acquiring a new envelope of host and viral proteins. The virus matures and becomes ready to infect other cells. HIV replicates billions of times per day, destroying the host's immune cells and eventually causing disease progression. Drugs which interfere with the key steps of viral replication can stop this fatal process. Entry into the host cell can be blocked by fusion inhibitors, for example. Inhibition of reverse transcriptase by nucleoside inhibitors or by non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors is part of standard antiretroviral regimens. The action of integrase can be blocked. Protease inhibitors are also part of standard antiretroviral therapy. Each blocked step in viral replication is a step towards better control of HIV disease. AIDS is caused by the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV. This is an enveloped virus. The envelope is derived from the host cell membrane with viral glycoproteins such as GP120 and GP41 inserted into the membrane as the virus leaves the cell. The core is composed of P24 capsid protein and the P17 matrix protein helps maintain viral structure. Inside the core are two identical copies of single-stranded RNA viral genome and three enzymes, reverse transcriptase, RT, protease, PR, and integrase, IN. To establish infection, HIV must first attach to its host cell. Attachment occurs by interaction between GP120 on the surface of the virus and the CD4 antigen receptor on the surface of the host cell. In addition to the CD4 receptor, there must also be a co-receptor on the host cell. The co-receptor differs for different host cell types. In T lymphocytes, the co-receptor is called CXCR4, whereas on macrophages, the co-receptor is called CCR5. After attachment, the viral envelope and host cell membrane fuse, resulting in entry of the virus into the cell. Once the RNA is released into the cytoplasm of the host cell, reverse transcriptase makes a DNA copy of the viral RNA genome. As the DNA is being formed, reverse transcriptase degrades the RNA strand. A complementary DNA strand is then added by the reverse transcriptase, and the ends of the resulting double-stranded DNA segment are joined non-covalently. Treatment with nucleoside analogs or reverse transcriptase inhibitors interferes with these steps. The resulting circular DNA is then moved to the nucleus and inserted into the host cell chromosome by the viral integrase, IN, enzyme. The integrated viral DNA is now referred to as proviral DNA. Following integration, the proviral DNA may remain dormant or, with host cell activation, RNA may be synthesized from the DNA, yielding messenger RNA and viral genome RNA. Viral messenger RNA is translated, yielding viral enzymes and structural proteins. 
Some of the functional proteins are formed by cleavage of a long polyprotein by the enzyme protease. Protease inhibitors interfere with this step. GP41 and GP120 are inserted into the host cell membrane and the structural proteins surround the viral RNA to form the core. Finally, the virion is released by budding. As a result, a heterogeneous viral population containing viral variants able to withstand immune and drug pressure evolves to perpetuate the infection, but this adapted population is generally less virulent. Thus, generation of viral variants is key to HIV's success, though it comes at the price of reduced infectivity. Following penetration to infect target cells, further viral variants are generated by errors committed by the viral reverse transcriptase when it replicates the HIV genome. Precise replication of the viral genome requires that adenosine A, thymidine T, guanosine G, and cytidine C be incorporated into the growing DNA strand following the template genomic RNA. A pairing only with T and C pairing only with G, respectively.